Okay, so Howard, you manage a toys company and then you have a vegetarian restaurant and now you're managing a mobile apps company. What inspired you to do so many things? Actually, it started with, the, again, traditional businesses. You know, all these uh, businesses sounds like traditional businesses, right? So toys is manufacturing, vegetarian is uh, food and beverage business, and mobile apps is technology business. So it all started with those traditional businesses first. And then we try to find out whether any underprivileged groups can work within these uh, traditional businesses. And then we will take a list of, uh, let's say, uh, physically disabled, mentally disabled, or the, uh, 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 any, any underprivileged groups that we can think of. But when, when you screen out those, those groups, you try to think of each business, whether you can turn their disadvantages into advantages. For example, in the food and beverage business, we found out that you know, uh, for the hearing impaired, uh, even though they could not hear, but uh, they can see, and eyesight is very important in the F&B business for the service and for the kitchen and for the um, uh, productions. So we try to put their disadvantages into advantages of, for the benefit of the business, uh, and that is for the F&B business. Of course, for the manufacturing, we hire the uh, physical, physically disabled um, uh, workers in China and, and we put them into the production line so that they can keep working and also make a living. For mobile as business, we identify the talents and the wisdoms of the uh, underprivileged youth. So usually they are early dropouts. Um, they may like to play games, videos a lot. So we, we put their interests into strength and train them to be a programmer so that they can help us to do a uh, lot of enterprise solutions. So are there any challenges working with underprivileged people or training them? I guess the, the, the major challenge we have is um, how to communicate with them and how to get their honest feedback of their weaknesses and strengths. And that takes time and patience. And you have to give them a genuine heart in understanding their needs. Uh, most of the time, you know, you cannot expect uh, an insight you know, just by just the first encounter or any first conversation. So you have to keep visiting them, sometimes family visit, sometimes community visit, so that you develop trust. And once you develop that trust, they will give you lots of uh, ideas about uh, what they are good at and what they are not good at, and then uh, and these honest honest conversations most sometimes give you lots of inspirations of what they can do, rather than what they cannot do. So this is uh, the, the fundamentals of almost all of our social observations. Mm -hmm. So are social enterprises the answer to a more efficient social welfare system? I guess it's is the answer for both. Uh, more efficient social system and more efficient business system. Some people may think social enterprise may cater to the underprivileged groups so that they may not maybe even affect the efficiency of business. But I always say that uh, that's why I use the dandelion, you know, that plant as an example. If you put them in the right place, you know, it is an herb. But if you put them in the wrong place, it is a weed. So whether it's herb or weed, it's up to you. So you need to find out whether the underprivileged groups are working in the right place white atmosphere so that they can you know boom and grow and and become a beautiful plant mm -hmm. so you manage a mobile apps company yes. as well could you please tell us something about the apps that you are developing yes the apps we are developing are focusing more on the enterprise solutions and that take lots of communications for example uh, transportation company or any uh, for example retail companies that they want to develop an internal communications applications so we will first talk to them uh, to understand their needs and then we will have our programmers to understand whether we can use the technology to help them to deliver that goals so once we put both needs together then we have an applications so that's a really interesting business that you're managing thank yeah, you yeah. so much for joining us you're welcome. thank you for having thank us you. thank you